So it's the 19th of April 2023. It's about 5.15 p.m. There's a total eclipse of the sun or an annular ring eclipse of the sun in about 12 hours time. And I want to look at the challenging side of this. There's three or four different ways of looking at this in terms of challenge. Firstly, the sun is going to be occluded. That means that a lot of the light, heat and life from the sun is going to be cut off from the earth for a few minutes, for about five minutes. So a lot of people may go through a little bit of a meltdown. This is going to particularly impact on people born in the last one or two days of Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. So if you've got the sun or the moon at 28 or 29 of those degrees of those signs, then there is a need for caution and not allow, to not allow your heart to rule your head. Because there is a degree of rashness, impulsiveness, especially at the emotional level, and volatility over the next day or two. The sun and the moon will be square Pluto. Pluto is just moving into Aquarius, but it's going to nip back into the end of Capricorn for quite a few months later this year, and then again briefly next year. So it's transiting into Aquarius slowly over a period of time. Sun and Moon square Pluto, I see that in a birth chart, and I can't help but feel that the person is very much a dark horse. That there's an energy of when young, fear, phobia, paranoia, obsessive, compulsive, intense and extreme energy. And translate that into a world perspective, it feels as if we're living under an umbrella of fear at the moment. With the Chinese exercises encircling Taiwan, with Russian ships in the North Sea allegedly ready to wreak havoc um, in the event of war on the electrical connections linking Britain to the rest of the world. Um, it seems as if the world is even closer to war than it normally is at a global level because a few madmen aren't being able to get things the way they want. Um, I say madman, madmen, I should say madman. I don't want to make one political or religious system better than the other. I'm fortunate enough to live in a country where there is at least a facade of democracy and civility and free healthcare <laughs> on the surface. Uh, but it's a facade. But nevertheless, I'm happy living in Britain at the moment because it's relatively sane. Nevertheless, don't believe everything you're being told in the last few days or the next few days. There is an element of subversiveness, control freakery, domination, manipulation, disempowerment. It can get downright nasty. It can be, at a personal level, this can lead to a lot of control freakery as in, oh, but if you love me, oh, you should. People trying to coerce or subversively uh, influence in a way that's not transparent, that's underhand. They're probably not aware of it, but they're doing it. So it takes someone who's incredibly astute and psychologically tuned in with themselves to be able to spot this type of behaviour. Basically, shields up. Don't believe everything you're being told at the moment because there's a great deal of fear. Remember, this is the negative way of looking at this eclipse. There's a lot of fear and a lot of um, warmongering and a lot of issues around terror and horror. So it'd be very easy to buy into this, to get caught up in the kind of gestalt of paranoia and fear and the world's about to implode and, and it's all going to get really nasty. And yes, it could. It could. But I'm 67, nearly 68, and ever since I was about seven or eight years old, I've been hearing that the bomb's going to drop. We're all going to die. And I've grown up with this atmosphere for the last 60 years and it hasn't dropped yet. Same as I'm hearing, there's going to be a massive financial crash. 
yeah. It's not just the sun and moon square Pluto. 24 hours, 28 hours after the eclipse, Mercury will go retrograde. Mercury will be at 15 and a half degrees of Taurus, basically conjunct Uranus in the sky. So again, in this last couple of days and in this next two or three days, there's going to be some wildfire communications. There's going to be all types of nutcases, nutjobs, lunatics out there spouting that it's the end of the world or that this cult is right or that religion is right. And, and it's all based on fear. Fear, what's the acronym for fear? False energy aggravating resist resentment or resistance. It's a killer. Fear is a killer, it really is. You can get so caught up in fear that you lose objectivity and you can't see what's really going on. Mind you, with an eclipse exactly squaring Pluto and Mercury retrograde conjunct Uranus, there's no way you're going to be able to be clear about what's going on. Not yet. There's going to be lots and lots of words over the coming two or three weeks and things could get a little hairy on the surface. I, I, I suggest it will be hype and spin. Mercury will stay retrograde until 14th, 15th of May and it won't clear its retrograde shadow until the very end of May. So from now through to the end of May, keep an element of um, objective detachment about everything you hear, see and believe. Whether it's from your family, your friends, your loved ones, your neighbours, your local community, or whether it's the news, the global community. I'm not suggesting that there's any direct nasty, manipulative behaviour going on, although I suspect there is somewhere along the lines. But I am suggesting that a lot of people are going to get caught up in superficial... They're going to lose it. They're going to lose control. And it'd be very easy for that to spread like wildfire. So the intelligent person, especially in the next two or three days, and really through until the end of May, is going to sit back and go, Okay, this is what it seems to be. This is what seems to be happening. So now let me just detach myself from this. Step back, do the ironing, do the washing up. Do, think about it and think, is this really what's going on? And trust your own judgment. It's far too easy to believe everything that's in the newspapers and on the television and on social media. When actually... Your own intuition, your own link with spirit and with the divine, your own truth that works for you is easily the most reliable form of broadcast that you can trust. Trust yourself. Right, now I'm going to do a video on the positive side of the eclipse.